All right, welcome back to our Azure VMware Solution Tactical Overview video series. Uh, in the next two modules, we're going to talk about some of the VMware products and solutions that are supported on AVS. In this first module, we'll talk about the vRealize products, Horizon, and Tanzu products and services. So first up is uh, VMware vRealize operations. Um, this helps AVS customers optimize, plan, and scale their hybrid cloud deployments. Uh, vRealize Ops gives you continuous workload optimization and balancing, capacity and cost management, intelligent remediation, and integrated compliance. It gives you automated workload balancing based on business and operational intent across your AVS vSphere clusters to assure performance for critical applications. It gives you unified monitoring and troubleshooting across your AVS private cloud, on-prem deployments, or other VMware, VMware cloud provider deployments um, to accelerate mean time to resolution and decision making. Real-time machine learning driven capacity and cost analytics give you optimization, right sizing, and reclamation recommendations across all your deployments. And what if planning scenarios can help you plan migrations and decide where to deploy new projects? VRealize Ops also supports native Azure services with a set of default metrics and custom metrics. We also support VRealize Network Insight. Um, this helps you accelerate application security and networking across your private, public, and hybrid clouds. Gives you visibility uh, across those multi-cloud environments. Helps you enable application and dependency discovery to help you plan your migrations to reduce risks, build move groups that you can then feed into HCX to do the migrations. It helps you measure, measure latency and performance uh, end to end. You'll support vRealize Automation. Uh, vRealize Automation is an infrastructure automation platform with event-driven state management. It's designed to help organizations control and secure self-service hybrid clouds, uh, provide multi-cloud automation with governance, and embrace DevOps-based infrastructure delivery. Vrealize Automation gives IT operators, DevOps engineers, developers, and lines of business the environments and resources they need faster and with a public cloud-like user experience, uh, while still allowing for IT to maintain security, compliance, and control. It's made up of five components here. VMware Cloud Assembly, which is the multi-cloud provisioning service, which is the cloud API layer that's used by the templating engine. Uh, VMware Service Broker, which aggregates content from multiple resources and platforms into a common product catalog uh, to service to end users. VMware CodeStream for release pipeline automation and management. Uh, VMware vRealize Orchestrator, which is the workload engine for automating complex infrastructure tasks and stitching services together. And VMware vRealize Automation Salt Stack Config, which lets you define optimized compliant states and enforce them across the entire environment. Next up is Horizon. And there are two different ways you can consume Horizon on Azure. We'll focus on the Azure VMware Solution specific version first. Um, this is Horizon on Azure VMware Solution. This is a bring your own license add-on that customers can purchase to complement or replace their existing on-prem Horizon deployment. So let's use secure applications, infrastructure, data, and access uh, by implementing a comprehensive, consistent, and intrinsically secure desktop infrastructure from the data center to the cloud. You get a unified dashboard delivering health monitoring and help desk services for global Horizon deployments, uh, both on-prem and in AVS, all from that Horizon Cloud Management Console. Um, this will leverage the Horizon Cloud Pod architecture to help you link multiple pods, be they on AVS or on-prem, link them together to deliver a seamless desktop experience to your users managed through that single centralized ent entitlement layer. This is you own the Horizon infrastructure on the VMware SDDC as a service as provided by AVS. You're responsible for architecture and configuring all the components associated with Horizon. Um, in addition to Horizon on Azure VMware solution, we also offer Horizon Cloud on Azure. Um, the difference here is that Horizon on AVS is, again, you own the infrastructure, you manage the infrastructure. Horizon Cloud on Azure is a desktop as a service uh, product managed by Microsoft and VMware. And you manage tenant configuration and entitle users to desktops. Um, there are architectural limitations here. You don't have full control over the infrastructure. Next up, from the Tanzu portfolio, there are a couple of offerings here supported on AVS. The first is uh, Tanzu Standard. Tanzu Standard is a bundle that gives you an enterprise-grade Kubernetes runtime to be deployed anywhere, uh, on-prem, public clouds, or at the edge, and a global control plane for consistent and secure management of those environments at scale. There are two components of the bundle. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid is the Kubernetes distribution, and it makes it easy to stamp out Kubernetes clusters across multiple clouds, giving you simplified installation, multi-cluster operations, and integrated platform services. Um, this abstracts away provider details, which lets you allowing you to provide developers with a consistent experience wherever their workloads may land. The other component is Tanzu Mission Control, which is the multi-cloud, multi-cluster, centralized Kubernetes management platform 
which gives you global visibility and policy management for all of your Kubernetes clusters. And this can be extended to any CNCF conformant Kubernetes cluster, not just Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. Now, if you're developing modern apps and you don't want to think about Kubernetes, we have Tanzu Application Service. TAS, built on Cloud Foundry, is still the gold standard for enterprise-grade modern application development for groups that want to continuously deliver and run microservices securely at scale on-prem and across clouds. TAS is the best runtime for Spring and Spring Boot. Spring Boot apps just work on Tanzu Application Service with no modification. There's extensive architectural affinity between Spring apps and the platform. It has a native Windows and .NET experience. Uh, TAS includes deep support for modern application patterns and practices for Windows Server and .NET Framework, which is great for enterprises that need just a better runtime for their Windows apps. There's an app autoscaler that automates horizontal scaling. You can add more capacity to your applications when traffic spikes and scale down when traffic returns to normal. And you can set thresholds and triggers to, to govern that. Easy troubleshooting with app metrics, uh, which log and display application telemetry to help your engineers troubleshoot microservice architectures. Uh, agentless install there and zero configuration setup. TAS gives uh, application development teams an automated path to production for custom code and a secure, highly available runtime that scales to support the most demanding operations teams. It's a fast, scalable, and secure by default platform that just gets out of developers' way by delivering that legendary CF push developer experience. And it runs on AVS. Okay, that wraps it up for this module. Just to recap, we covered the Virialize products that are supported, covered the Horizon options, and talked about two of the Tanzu products that are available on the platform. Please join me in the next module where we'll keep going.